So good morning everyone. This is going to be my first live writing video. And I'm going to walk you through the process step by step from using the constraints in the beginning to trying to build a full orchestral track. So I've set up some things here. I uh, have only the grand piano for now uh, for doing the sketching. And I also have this uh, reference picture that I'm going to be using for inspiration. So I'm going to start off by just trying to find some harmony and maybe melodic material to this picture. So there I have something, and it's in three, so I'm going to have to change the uh, tempo. Oh, there it is. Also hear this note. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yeah, so the rhythm is not correct yet, but you get the feeling of the harmony. So I'm not going to do so much with that now. I'm going to just keep on rolling. Yeah. That's going to go somewhere. So I'm hearing a modulation here, but I think I'm going to just start with uh, this piece and clean it up a bit and set the right rhythm. Yeah, the break is okay, but I hear some climbing notes here. Oh, it's too fast in the end there, so I'm just gonna move it away. I hear more sounds. Wait. 
it's, he's kind of climbing up, right? Maybe not there. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so what I like to do when I have a sketch is to play it without the metronome and then also watch the, the picture. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I think it's too fast. So I'm going to change the tempo to 90. And when I make music, I usually put the tempo up and down many times throughout the track to, to hear what suits the intention and the feeling of the track the best. So I think I'm going to try to write the B part now. It has to be a little bit different in nature. Try to convey some different moods or want to say something else, but it also has to be connected to it in a way. So if you paid attention to some of my previous videos, I emphasize a lot of rhythmic similarity to ground the listener. So I think I'm going to do the same with this, uh, this kind of rhythm to make them feel that they're in the same, at least, song. So I can do more and more unexpected stuff if I keep the listener grounded in something that is already familiar through section A. There is sometimes uh, some help in looking at the picture and see, seeing what happens in the picture. So only rocks here and there's this line of the mountain. It could be actually a help of the uh, intensity of the piece. So it, it builds up to a crescendo and then it goes a little bit down. And when we come to this golden part of the, the magical city here, it slowly fades up again and then it leaves into a into a higher end section. Sometimes I look for stuff like that. And also these paint brush strokes uh, in the picture gives me a lot of, you know, dotted and small uh, short sounds. So I'm, I'm hearing a lot of pizzicato here just because I see a lot of small, you know, notes or brush strokes. Maybe part A could be that he looks into the picture. Uh, or he, he looks into the horizon and he sees the golden city. But now part B would be about where he actually is. So this is where he is. He's in this rocky uh, area with uh, with grass, mountain grass. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that as a guide, I think. And also I have to change key, I think. Something a little bit more fast, you hear? Uh, I think that's going to be a kind of a background rhythm there so let's take that first yeah oh that's too predictable Okay. Yeah, that's cool. No. Yeah, this is going to be like that. That's cool. I hear some counter voices in the basses there, but I think I'm just gonna record them late. Ah, you know what? Don't do that. 
If you hear something, just put it down. Boop Boop. Okay, we have to have one more of these slow parts. Okay, so not this short one. You hear the high notes, they just fade out here. That's not... Okay, so maybe this one again, but just an octave down. Could that be something? No, back to back to light one. That's that's good. And now this one, these chords will be different. this There it is. So this D do D do it has to be the same rhythm here to make a pattern. So see the shape? Bum 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 bum. So it's up, high, low, up, up, high, lower, up, up. So it's at least similar. Last listen through. And then we're going to end because it's like he's first looking into the picture into the horizon in this part and then he comes back to but i'm actually i'm actually here but in the end here the focus goes back from where he's present to where he want to be and that's in the the horizon here so we have to go back into something that is more sustained and more calm so the the end chord here will be a little bit uh, important I think this C could lead us back into 
uh, the A part again because that's in A minor. This, yeah, the whatever that was in the beginning. Okay, so now I have one and a half minute of music. So when I cut it down, maybe it's going to be a little bit under one minute. And that's usually where I where I start orchestrating. I think I have enough material now. Uh, it's going to be like an A B A thing, I think. Not too long. I like to write shorter pieces. So, okay, so I'm going to give you the MIDI for this. Maybe you want to have a look at it yourself and, you know, try out some different variations. And if you find something that is cool, please, please send it to me so I can hear. And the next video now will be about me orchestrating this piano track uh, into a full uh, orchestral sketch. So we're going to have a listen through one more time of the two sections. And then I hope I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, so I hear some notes in here that I have to change, so let's do this. Mm -hmm. 